Oh my goodness, she's using a little box. She's already peed, but she has to sit there and dig it for like half an hour. Welcome back to my channel, it's me Anushka, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to not get ashy makeup. I did ask you on Instagram with a poll and a lot of you wanted to see this video, so here I am filming it. Um, and before we jump into the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Sokali Kabsha. I hope I'm saying that right, but thank you so much for the love and I appreciate it so much. If you guys want to get a post notification shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button and comment in the comments below when you've done so. And I choose um, people who have I've seen support for a very long time or who have mentioned that they've just pressed the bell, bell, bell button. So yeah. Okay, so let's jump straight into the video. The first thing that we're going to do, obviously prep your skin. You guys know, I showed you guys in a lot of my videos, you just want to put a nice moisturizer for your skin type a good primer a primer is really good to help your makeup stay in place now the next thing that I would usually go to but I feel like I don't need at the moment is color corrector my two favorite ones at the moment is the MAC conceal and correct um, duo in orange pure orange and ochre this one's really nice because you can kind of use both colors or well, my other favorite is the LA girl pro conceal um, corrector in orange this one i'm not going to use today because it's super old and i actually need to get an old one it actually smells funny this is so old it's 18 months it's been well over 18 months that i've had this it's nasty nasty but today i'm going to go with the mac one and i'm going to show you guys on one side with and without so i'm going to be showing you guys how i would recommend it and then the other side how i wouldn't recommend it put i have some darkness here so just put the corrector wherever you have some darkness and what this is going to do is just going to colour correct it and you know when you put your foundation on it's just going to appear much brighter and more even so if you have like darkness around your mouth area then definitely do this this is going to really help to prevent that you know greyish look around your mouth now we're going to go on to the foundation so with your foundation you really want to make sure that you've got the right colour and the right tone like my tone I would say is very kind of yellow slash olivey because sometimes I appear green I feel like <clears throat> not obviously green but I know I see that oliviness in my skin I usually go for like warmer foundations if you look at your veins if they're like more greeny veins then you're more of a yellow tone and if you have like more um bluey veins then you're more on the pinky side um I've tried it on customers and it did sometimes work um, when I was trying to figure out their tone. Yeah, normally when you just look at your skin, just analyze it. Sometimes just take different tone foundations and put it on your skin and look from afar and it really, really helps. My two favorite foundations are at the moment, drugstore ones are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation and the NYX Total Control. I'm gonna use the Total Control um, foundation today because it's a better match for my skin. I'm gonna just tap this in place. So when you're using a corrector, it's best to like use a sponge or even if you're gonna use a brush, try to pat it rather than swell or drag because that's just gonna move the corrector. Can you see it's just one colour? I think I might go back to colour correcting. What you don't want to do is go a shade lighter than your skin, which funny enough when I was on counter a lot of, especially Asian women, which is so sad, would ask me to go lighter on their foundation shade and I would just be like, okay madam, obviously it's what the customer wants but it just looked really ashy, but obviously it's what they wanted, but like I said, some people like that, they want to appear lighter, which is to me really sad. Like for me, you need to embrace your skin tone. But yeah, what you don't want to do is go a shade lighter, which I'm going to show you guys. No, nah, you don't want that. Oh. What is this? It's just going to make me look sick. It's 
I have no comments. No. Why? Okay, obviously, obviously that's what it looks like. So the next thing is concealer. It's kind of the same concept as your foundation. You can go a bit lighter, but stay in your tone. So like if I go lighter, I have to stay like in a warmer tone. Otherwise it just looks so wrong. And maybe peachy or warmer tones. Too light, because when you go too light, that's where it starts to go ashy. And sometimes what helps is I put my normal concealer or something that's close to your skin tone on your eyes and then go and highlight with something that's much brighter, you know? That's gonna, because you've already got a concealer that's covering the, the darkness under your eyes if you have any. Um, you have a nice base for a nice lighter highlight to go on top so it just creates a flawless finish rather than go ashy because I realise when I go with a highlight straight away that's when it tends to go ashy so I'm going to show you guys so this is my concealer that I always wear this is my Tarte Shape Tape as you can see it's a bit light but it's still quite warm so it works with my skin tone and then we've got Makeup Revolution Seal and Define in 8.5 but I actually really like to mix this with my Tarte Shape Tape to make it brighter. See that is really bright. I'm gonna blend this side. This actually might work, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't personally go with this light of a colour. I don't like it. But if I wanted to, I could like go with like a few little dots of this lighter one and just Slightly blend it into the Tarte Shape Tape one, and look, it really like just naturally brightens it. Actually, was this looks ashy to me? No, no. Okay. Okay. So the next thing is powder. Um, I feel like with powder, it's more trial and error because I go with really pale powders, but they work. Some of them can look ashy, like. HD powders, I really don't get along with HD powders, which is weird, but I just don't get along with them. It's just more trial and error because you can go with a really light powder, which I'm going to use. This is the um, Beauty Bakery Flower in Yellow. It's actually really, really nice. We'll just do the other side. I want to show you some powders. So another thing with powders, like face powders, you don't want to go too light because they're more of a skin tone colour. So for example, this shade, I wouldn't... This is the EX1 powder number 8. I wouldn't really use this on my skin because it's much lighter. I mean, I could actually get away with it, but I feel like it would change my skin tone. This shade is actually quite dark. I think I could get away with it on the other side. Let's try. Yeah, this is more like my skin tone. And try not to go, I don't have a light powder. I'm actually gonna try and use this one, which has some lighter bits in it. I'm gonna use that to set my face. Going with your bronzer now, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline um, Master Bronze Palette. I'm just going to do both sides because I don't, bronzer can actually fix your ashiness situation. So I'm just going to do the same on both, eye, um, both sides. That when some people like to go lighter with their foundation, they don't like to wear bronzer from when I've been working on a counter that's what I realized um because I don't want to make their skin a bit darker at all so I put a bit less here still looks ashy though to be honest next up is highlighter which definitely has an effect on having ashy makeup or not and I do have a few here I'm really really careful with the highlighters I'm fused because I'm d I've definitely been guilty with going out the door with a literally a grey patch on my cheek. This Ofra um, highlighter in Rodeo Drive is way too light for me. Like it, it, it comes out too like whitish on my skin. <clears throat> I would either wear a little amount or I would just mix it in with a much darker one. I really like to go with like much goldy ones, like darker goldy ones like this. This is like a pure gold, whilst this is like a 
light champagne if you can see this is the bobby one the one i usually wear and this is the ofro it's like much lighter so i'm gonna go with the bobby one my side my, my nice looking side can you see how beautiful that is and that won't look like ashy if you can see it in the front like if you can see like a patch then it's a bit too light what really helps is to because some people think oh like you're in front of a light it looks shiny it's beautiful but when you go in somewhere where there's no light try and go somewhere where there's no light with a mirror and see what it looks like and sometimes you'll be quite surprised at how it looks like so we are going to go in with the over one which i don't really wear see that would look ashy you can even see it on the side Okay, so this is the ashy side, just a bit more close up. This is the beautiful side. And yeah, that's it guys. Those are the things that I had in mind that really prevents ashy makeup. I've seen it a lot in my days. I'm only 22. Like I said, everyone can wear their makeup as they want to. This is the type of thing you like then. Don't feel like my... Um, don't feel like you need to change it or it's wrong because I said so. This is just my recommendation. Like, I feel like makeup is all about enhancing your, your beauty, your features. And I feel like this doesn't, in my opinion. Um, while this, as you know, it's my skin tone. It's like bronzer. It's beautiful highlight. It doesn't look too ashy. Whilst this is just very, very grey. Alright, so that's all I have to say. I hope you found this video really, really helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if there's any other videos like this that you want me to do, let me know in the comments. Um, hit that thumbs up button. Definitely do that, please. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.